Welcome to San Juan, Puerto Rico. If you guys are looking for things to do in old and new San Juan, come with us. As soon as you get off the cruise ships, you're going to see a bunch of tour buses lined up. It's $25 per person. So we decided to go on this tour because it visits old San Juan as well as new San Juan. All right, this is the first stop of the tour. You have the convention center behind me, which looks nice. It's newly built and it withstanded the hurricane. So it is very nicely built. I love Puerto Rico, the famous I love Puerto Rico sign. And the other side, a loft hotel on my left side and the Sheraton as well on the other side of this convention center area. All this area it's named El Condado. <laughs> we are right behind La Concha Hotel now. You can actually see the seashell right there and this is the beach where everybody comes to. They have lawn chairs. Uh, they're free as far as I know and they're just hanging out right here and you can jump into the water but the waves are crazy right now so I wouldn't get in the water right now. Right next to La Concha Hotel, there's a part where you can see the Walk of Fame and you're gonna see a lot of celebrity names like Ricky Martin, Chayanne, Maria Celeste Raras, and a lot of Hispanic celebrities. Okay, my friends. So we did pass by the parliament building on the tour bus and we seen the front of it and there were statues of U.S. presidents uh, right across the street and then we did see the back part of it but you don't get to stop and take pictures so it's pretty much just kind of like a drive-by. San Felipe is the oldest fort in San Juan, Puerto Rico. the cemetery right behind me you have over 2,000 people buried there and most of them are politicians the tour guide just dropped us right here at San Colón Plaza in downtown right in front of San Cristobal port We are in Calle de la Fortaleza in downtown. Right here you're gonna find a bunch of shops, stores, restaurants, and a humongous Puerto Rico flat. This used to be Umbrella Street. They changed it for the Puerto Rico flag. Okay guys, we're now in Barrachina restaurant, when in 1963, the piña colada was invented here. We are gonna try that one, and we're also gonna try the traditional Puerto Rican food. So I just ordered chicken tostones, that's the traditional food over here, it's appetizer, and also with rice and beans, with arroz and habichuelas. I just got the mild chicken wings and you guys know I had to try out the piña colada so I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Cheers with the piña colada. it's a little too strong for my taste but after a couple of these you probably won't taste it anymore so I have 
have the shrimp tostones right here, habichuelas, and white rice. Mmm, really good. It comes with a sauce inside, it's really good, it's not hot, it's not that salty. It's good. I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. I'd say the most traditional thing here in Old San Juan are the color of the buildings. They just look beautiful. And also they have the brick streets here in downtown. So we are at the first Starbucks in Puerto Rico, which is in San Juan. And I needed to get my check-in, my Binder collection, San Juan Coffee Mug. For those that's on a cruise ship that visit downtown or are gonna visit downtown first, it is a short walk to the cruise ships. Hope you guys enjoy coming with us to San Juan, Puerto Rico. We had a blast. I hope you guys had a blast watching us and we'll see you guys on the next video.